sometimes you just need to work around with simple shapes to get things done. So in order to work with shapes inside of Fresco, let's just go over here onto the left side where we can find basic shapes. So once we click on it, you can see that a square appears over here. I'm able to pull this out, place it anywhere I like, and then rotate it around, just like this, as you can see right here. So over here, as I bring in the shape, the task is not complete yet. So I can turn this into a fill, just like this. I can choose whether I want to add in a vector, a color, or a pixel color. So let me just select pixel right here, and it gets filled out with the color right here. Then you can erase that out as well. That is, it erases out things. So if I were to fill this out right here, I can move the shape and you can see that I can go over here and erase it out. And that is how another shape can be created. So shape right here is like a big brush that you can use. I can also go over here and mask that certain area out. And I can go over here and then erase and fill it out just like that, as you can see as well. So I'm just going to go around to fill and so forth. And that is how it works out. I can just go over onto the side and turn it into a selection as well so that I can move it in different places as well. I'm just going to cancel this out. And now what I can do is I can transform, move that into different places. So shape is a very powerful tool inside of Adobe Fresco, as you can see right here. There's other types of shapes you can use as well. So you can just click and hold this out. And what happens is that other basic shapes are accessible. So you can bring in a circle. The working pattern is the same for all of it. You can bring in a triangle, a polygon triangle as well. And if you were to press this plus button, you can see that you can add in corners right here. That is why this is named polygon. So you can have uh, just three corners right here, just like this, or you can have four, five, six, seven, eight corners. And then you can work around, fill the shape just like this. You can erase it out. And right now the selection is active. That's why only this part is being erased out or selected out just like this, as you can see. And that is how you can work with shapes inside of Adobe Fresco. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.